Strap in. This is going to be good. Hi, right, guys. Welcome to Lee Reacts. I hope everyone's having a good day. I know I am. We are back uh, with a follow-up for our last video we did for Soft Machine, or The Soft Machine, however you want to put it. Um, the, it was the John Peel sessions. We did, I think, it was like five tracks. Man, that was uh, certainly a trip and a half. <laughs> and this is uh, the rest of the request for Mike um, C, who is an alpha patron. Thank you for your support, Mike. I truly appreciate it. We're going to be doing two different versions of a track called Esther's Nose Job. Uh, the first one is off of Soft Machine Volume 2, I think, which came out in 1969, right? Yep, it was their debut in the UK, but it wasn't their debut in the rest of the world. I don't know. Uh, it was voted number 715 on Colin Larkin's all-time top 1,000 albums. So, I mean, that's high praise, to be honest. Um, apparently, they toured with Jimi Hendrix in uh, 1968 as the um, opening act for him. Um, and uh, they that was the first time they were exposed to large crowds, I guess, apparently. Um, the I don't know what exactly... This is basically progressive rock in the Canterbury scene, you know. Uh, Esther's Nose Job is five parts. Um, the second one isn't. The second one's like three and a half minutes long. But the first one is, um, yeah, pretty long. Um, it's right here. Yep. 16 minutes. See, it says 16 minutes on here, but on here it doesn't. It says 11 minutes. Oh. Well, that probably is. Okay, never mind. All right, well, let's go. Thank you again, Mike. Hopefully, y'all enjoy. Strap in, grab a smoke, grab a drink, whatever. Esther's Nose Job by The Soft Machine. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a comment for the algorithm. It really helps. Three, two, one, go. Give me a chance, give me a chance, give me a chance. When 
But now it's gone, the tell is here, mass media, the sewer too. I sound like Peter Gabriel a little bit. like little songs. Shit. I might or might not have to cut the last part out. We'll see.
It's almost being a graph generator right here. Right? Speaking of Vandegraaff, I need to do a song for them soon. Out there, bro. I love it. like a jazz fusion vibe almost. What the fuck? <laughs> That was awesome. <laughs> what? So familiar. Oh my god. It's so climactic. song is crazy. Ah. I like this so much. I like this more than the last video. I got by a lot. Listen to that roll. dynamics.
there, bro. LP and Vandegraaff Generator had a baby. Even though this like preceded, I think ELP. No. Same time. What a ride. I really hope there's not all separate copyright claims in this. That literally felt like, <laughs> so weird to say, like a nose job. It was like sewn together, a bunch of parts all sewn together. Well, it's not really a nose job, but whatever. And now for the next one. This one's like three minutes long. Now this sounds like the John Peel session stuff. I just got a field day with this song. <laughs> that this and the Beatles were out at the same time. I hear Jazz Fusion again. Those keys. And the drums. Damn. Cause there's like an organ and a keyboard going on right now. Wow. 
what innovation, man. <laughs> That's crazy to me how there's a very select few bands doing that, you know, in 1969, especially that Canterbury stuff. Um, we've done a couple, you know, like Steve, you know, Steve Hillage and stuff, you know, from back then. But <clears throat> this Canterbury scene is just, I don't even have the words for it, man. Like I said, it's incredible to me that this and the Beatles were out at the same time. You know, 1969, they were still active. This is the same year as the rooftop concert. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's that's insane, you know? Like, even today, if the, this is just, like, in a pocket outside of time itself. Because like, it's always going to sound like something that's not of this time or of this world. I don't know, man. Like, they were just going crazy in this. I, I mean, there was ups and downs and crisscrosses and especially in the first track obviously well, they're both the same track but um i guess the second one is just some different version of it i don't know maybe it's not like the full <clears throat> you know <clears throat> esther's nose job sorry i think i'm sick um so mike R uh ratledge or yeah ratledge whatever on piano um the Lowry Holiday Deluxe Organ, Hammond Organ on Esther's Nose Job. Um, wait. Oh, no. Is this what I think it is? Oh, I really got to count all of these. Is that what they did here? Oh, my God. Hold on. All right. So that's 10. So there's Rhythmic Melodies on side one, which takes up the entire album side. And it's absolutely a behemoth, it looks like. Um, well, it's only, it's 17 minutes long. And then this one side two had two tracks that were very short. And then this long track as well. Um, but I think there was something extra added on to that because like on here, it says that it's 11 minutes and 13 seconds, but that was 16 minutes. So maybe it included something else. I don't know. That's five minutes. Oh, that's the whole, oh no. That's the whole album side I think we just did. Well, it said Esther's Nose Job on there, so I don't know. But yeah, um, Robert Wyatt on drums, lead and backing vocals, Hugh Hopper on bass, and then um, he did the saxophone as well, acoustic guitar. Uh, Mike, Mike also did the harpsichord and um, I think the flute in one of these as well. Or no, no, not the flute. Um, so yeah, I... I don't even know like what even to like, like I said, it, it reminded me of Van de Graaff generator at points. It reminded me of a little bit of King Crimson at points, you know, but still like this is even outside of that. This is just very experimental. Um, it just takes you very strange places. It, it really does. Like in your mind, like I kind of let my mind wander at points during that song. I usually let my mind wander a little bit because I don't want to get so bogged down with analysis and critique and stuff like that, that I kind of just lose what the essence of the song is itself. So I still try to just let my mind wander and do its thing like it would normally do if you were listening to a song. Because normally when you're listening to a song, you're not recording it in front of a bunch of people to watch. You know what I'm saying? So it's very hard to do both at the same time. I try to balance it. Um, I think a lot of people don't, you know, they just do whatever, you know, um, I try to give you all a little bit of critique, a little bit of feeling and uh, just overall analysis of everything. But that was that was on another level. I think I liked the the second half on more, but I enjoyed the entire thing. I hope I don't get in trouble when I upload all this and it's um, it's like seven songs or something because I don't know. I looked up Esther's nose job from volume two and this is what it came up with. There was different, like there's like a live one or something, but um, hopefully I don't get in trouble for it. If not, if I do, I'll have to like chop off the last part and maybe it'll be okay. Um, if not then, oh, well, I guess it's going on Patreon. Um, there, there is nothing to highlight in that, to be honest. I mean, what could I highlight from that? The Hammond organ was great. Oh, here I go. Um, the Hammond organ was absolutely stellar. Um, the saxophone. Oh my God. They used the sax so effing well. Oh wait, how so fucking well. Oh my God. Did they use the sax? Well, that's what really obviously reminded me of Van Graaff generator a bit. 
Uh, but just the way they used it, like the dark places that they went in this song, like there were some happy kind of uppity parts. And then there was like these low, really dark, ancient gallery of your mind, as you know, Jim Morrison would put it. He took a face from the ancient gallery and he walked on down the hall. It's one of my favorite lines ever in all of rock music right there. It's so good, man. Um, I don't know. It just really uh, it speaks to a lot of primal nature aspect of ourselves somehow. You know, I felt it kind of calling to my very distant past at points, especially when it got really spacey, you know, a very ambient sounding and then it would just go into this like tumultuous, just absolute chaotic mess. Like they were all over the place. This is the definition of progressive right here. Like this is cutting edge shit, especially in 1969. I mean, like come the fuck on, man. That first song, I, I honestly, the, I could have done without the second part, the three minute track afterwards. I don't think it added, it, it wasn't supposed to add anything, so I shouldn't look at it like that. It was a different version of it, I guess. Um, but that first track absolutely overshadowed that second one, even though it was a, just the same song, but a different version. I don't know. Um, he asked me to do it, so I did it. <laughs> and I'm so glad that I did that uh, that first video. I mean, oh my God, that was, that was some of the most mind bending, uh, very unique music that I've heard in a while. And I listen to music every day on here, you know, and it's wide range of genres, all kinds of stuff. And um, this has to be some of the most unique and uh, I don't know, not accessible, you know, like this is inaccessible for most people. I don't think um, this is uh, for musicians and people that really enjoy music and want to hear everything that they can, you know, um, as a prog head, this speaks to me on all kinds of levels, but not everyone's a prog head, especially people on this channel. Not everyone's into prog. That's why they don't get that many views. Like, you know, the big bands will, but stuff like this, nada, you know what I'm saying? But I don't really care as you guys know, like I have to care sometimes. Like I have to have a couple big videos a month and I'm happy. I don't care about everything else. Um, but for the most part, these don't really pull in views, especially it's like a half an hour long video. It's going to get like 500 views, you know? But that, that should prove to you how much I don't give a fuck. <laughs> like, I really don't. I just want to hear good music, man. And um, this is the definition of uh, basically taking a step into the dark and you don't know what to expect. And um, yeah, this completely shit on the John Peel session stuff, which I thought was good. But the, the quality wasn't the best of points. This, you know, was way better. The production was way better. Um, I felt like they, obviously there was like those little micro songs in the beginning. Like there was like a minute and a half, minute and a half, minute and a half. Um, but that also might've been, I might've just done the whole album side by accident. I don't know, but that, cause it looked like the times matched up to that. So maybe I did it wrong once again, cause last week I was supposed to do just track three, four and five from it. So maybe I fucked up again. That's what I do. And you guys love it, right? <laughs> uh, yeah. I guess I would say that um, I have to pick a favorite thing out of all of that. I don't know, man. Uh, it was all great, but I don't know. That drum solo at the end there, that was fucking awesome. I mean, it really was. Uh, he was working the shit out of that snare, especially at the end of it when he was going out of it. I mean, oh my God, the toms and the snare, so good. And it was so just strange. You know what I mean? Like at points, like it just takes you, like I said, when I let my mind wander, it took me to all kinds of strange places, bro. And I love music like that. That's what music's all about. It's about going on an adventure. And uh, that's what we did here. So hopefully you enjoyed. Thank you again, Mike, for a great pick, my friend. I'm out. One more thing. Uh, we have a really cool Patreon community. We'd love to have you. There's a link in the description. If you join the $15 tier or up, you get one for your quest a month. Uh, there's other tiers for other amounts of requests if you want to do more. There's also a PayPal as well in the description if you want to send a tip or a request in that way. It's up to you. Now scram, go, go.